Hello and welcome back to Trojan Sports Now. With me now is Juan Davis Jr. from the men's basketball team. Um, Juan, I just want to start out with how did you get started in basketball? Oh, um, first off, thank you for having me. Glad to be here. And, um, it's, I mean, it's a long story. I played basketball all my life, but I didn't play it like that. My whole family is basketball based. And so um, I had an older sister and she played from when she was little. So when we had the family gatherings and the little family cookouts and everything, we had a court and we would always play, but she would always beat me. So. I mean, it didn't settle well. So I grew up playing soccer for a long time, and uh, that's when I cut the program in my eighth grade year in my high school. And so I said, why not? I just tried out for basketball, and then magically I started growing. That's um, where everything started. Yeah, so besides basketball and soccer, did you play anything else? I ran track. I did track, and I did the uh, high jump, the 100 and 200 meter hurdles, and the triple jump and long jump. Um, so now why did you decide to come play basketball at Troy? Oh, uh, this long process. When I was in high school, I was being recruited by uh, from Division Ones and a lot of JUCOs, and um, I just felt I needed to like start a little slow. So I decided to go to JUCO. And I went to East Mississippi, and um, I was a qualifier my first year, and I had a lot of schools, you know, recruiting me because I coached and ended up leaving. But um, I ended up staying for a former coach, of coach here, Coach Billy Begley, and I stayed and played for him. And the recruitment process, I mean, they was just all so nice, and I just felt that this is where I needed to be. Um. So, what was the recruitment process like? Oh, I mean, it was awesome. I came down here. Uh, this was actually my, this was my first one, and so um, I came down here. They treated me nice. I mean, the facilities was nice. The people down here was real good. It's a good environment. I mean, the coaching staff was like, uh, they was genuine with everything that they said, and uh, it just they just brought me in from the first day I stepped down here. Um, and what's it like being able to play for Coach Cunningham? Oh man, he he he's a great guy. You know, he has. At times, you know, he just he, he has you laughing and rolling and stuff. But I mean, he's just a great, humble, you know, guy and good coach. I mean, he's always, you know, getting the job done. He's always, you know, player first, coach second. I mean, he's just a really, really great guy. Has good principles and morals about him. Um, and last year, the team won the Sun Belt Championship. So, what was that like being able to win? Man, that was that was like the best fulfilling feeling ever. Like, you got to go down to the Sun Belt Conference in New Orleans. You play four games a day. And as you win and win, you kind of get hungry and hungry because you're right there close to the end. And when we won, it was just like, wow, like, did this really just happen? Like, you know, I remember, like, weeks after I was still waking up, like, is this really going to happen, you know? And so um, when we went to March Madness at Duke, the, um, the open practices with all the media and meeting Chris Webber and, you know, seeing players and meeting coaches that you never thought you would meet, you know, playing against teams you never thought you would play against, it's, it's a really awesome experience. Right, and you just mentioned you played Duke in March Madness, right. but you lost. But what was the experience like just getting to play a school as good as Duke? Man, it, it was, I remember when we was, um, after we had won, we were sitting in the, uh, in the uh, restaurant and watching the uh, selection show. And when our name came up to play Duke, everybody was just, wow, you know, happy and everything. And so we went to the game, you know, we, we felt like we could beat them. I, I believe we still could have, you know, and um, just playing them is like, you know, at first, you know, the nerves get to you, it's like it's so surreal. You know, but as you go into the game, you settle down. And I, I just feel like it was it was really good experience for each, each and every one of our guys. And I think that we will carry that experience on into next year, or this year, how we play and how we uh, approach each game. Um, so what are some of the things you may have learned from playing them? Oh, I, mean, I just learned that uh, <laughs> when you play good teams, it's hard for them to miss. Yeah, but, but, uh, but no, we, uh, we played them pretty good. You know, they just was hitting a lot of shots. You know, we had good defense, and we, we played them. I mean, we uh, cut the lead down about six and five at uh, one point in the game, you know, but we just didn't have, uh, we just didn't get, weren't able to get over that hump, that little hump that we need to get over to in order to like go ahead and win the game. But uh, I feel that we got experience playing on the big stage, and I feel like we got like a lot of a lot of our older guys, that's seniors and juniors now, they um, know what it's like to get there, and so it's going to make them more hungry to get there this year too. Right. So what are some things you have to do um, this season to be able to get back there? Well, first off, we um, we lost three seniors last year, three really good seniors. You know, good experience, good players. You know, good IQ players. So. But we also gained three more guys. We gained a lot. So the uh, freshmen we just gained, they're going to have to come in and be ready to play this season. And so the sooner we can get them to be, you know, more to buy in more and, you know, get the program down and, you know, attention to detail and, you know, stuff, principles like that, I feel like that we can be a top contender where we were last year. Um, and what has it been like getting to know the new guys on the team? Oh, man, it's, it's only three of them. So, I mean, they're they, they really cool, you know, cool guys. They really uh, – laid back and chill. Uh, I know the one from Turkey, he's, he's really a character because he can be in practice and he just be talking and stuff. We don't know what he be saying and he just, <laughs> and it's funny. But uh, those guys, they're really good. And for the future of the program, I think they're going to be really good, a really good uh, look for the program. 
Um, so you guys just started practice. So what are y'all doing in practice to prepare for the upcoming season? Uh, right now it's it's, it's about um, getting in shape, you know, getting the drills down, you know, just like getting the chemistry together. It's not about like, you know, looking at this team, looking at that team. You know, we got to worry about us first. And once that we get uh, ourselves and focus on ourselves, once we get us down packed and perfect what we do, then we can start worrying about the, everything else. Um, now, has this team improved on anything that last year's team may have struggled with yet? Um, I mean, it's, it's hard. To, I think we got better offensively than we were last year, but um, it's, it's really hard to say right now because it's the beginning of the season. But um, I think a lot of guys, um, we had some injuries last year, you know, stuff that was prohib uh, prohibiting us from playing last year. And so I think this year we won't have those injuries to deal with, and I think we'll be more healthier, the guys coming back, than we were last year. Right. So you start this season off in Hawaii. Um, what's it, what may be something different playing there than it is playing at Troy? Oh, man, it's, it's totally different. Uh, we went there last year, and we played uh, University of we played Hawaii out there. And so um, the atmosphere was just – it was great. You know, we come out there, you know, we uh, – the plane ride was long, of course. But, I mean, just seeing people walk through the airport, like a lot of guys coming up to you, hey, hey, take a picture, take a picture. You know, and it's just like it's, – it's, it's real, like, gratifying in the way that it, they come at you, in the way the atmosphere is in a hostile situation where you think that, oh, I'm away, I'm at Detroit. We're not going to have any fans or anything. But – the crowd still cheers for you if you win. You know, it's like good game, you know, good sportsmanship. And so I feel like this year it's going to be like that again. We're down there for uh, a weekend, you know, play three games down there. So I feel like the atmosphere is going to be even even better than it was last year. Right. And you also play Kentucky this season, who is an SEC right. school. And we just saw the football team knock off um, LSU, who's, yeah. a football, who's an SEC team. What does the basketball team have to do to maybe have the same success the football team did? Oh, man. Uh, after that, after they beat LSU, our coach came in uh, the next practice. He was like, you know, man, after seeing that, you know, it kind of zeroed me in, you know, and it kind of zeroed all of us in, you know, not just basketball, but like I hope that I feel like it did that for all the other sports here at Troy. Like I feel that, you know, with the football team doing that, all the other sports are like, the pressure's on us now. Like we got to go and we got to get big wins. We got to do this, we got to do that. And so I just feel like, you know, that they beat LSU, but they didn't beat LSU Saturday. They beat them in the preseason and, uh, in the, you know, in the summertime outside in the hot field. So I feel like we come in and work every day and we uh, win each day in the gym, in the weight room, on the, on the conditioning field. You know, I feel like that we can do the same thing that they did. Right. And you had a big season last season. So what are some things you can do personally to improve from last season? Uh, I think the biggest thing I did personally this season was I, um, I had surgery in the summertime. I was having a little hip impingement and it was kind of prohibiting me to play and towards the end of the summer conference and, you know, the March Madness. I really didn't play that much. Uh, but I think that I had the surgery and I feel a whole lot better now. And so the thing about now is just getting back more healthy than I was last year. And so once I get be back feeling better, you know, I think I'd be really better than I was last year. All right. And now, uh, no more basketball. Let's talk about you personally <laughs> a little bit. What do you like to do when you're not playing basketball? Uh, I don't know, I'm really just a chill type of guy. I mean, if I'm not playing basketball, I might just, you know, play my guitar or just, you know, chill, watch TV. I don't really do too much. Now, do you watch basketball when you're not playing? Oh, yeah, of course, a lot, a lot. I watch uh, college basketball, NBA. Like, I watch it all. All right. Outside of Troy, who's your favorite college basketball team? Uh, it's hard to say. I was a Texas Longhorn fan when Kevin Durant was there, you know, and I'm still a Texas fan, you know, but I really don't have a specific favorite team like that. All right. Now, Kevin Durant is on my favorite NBA team, the Golden <laughs> State Warriors. Um, who is your favorite NBA team right now? Uh... I'll have to say Golden State, but because of KD. I'm a KD fan, so wherever KD is is where I'm at. Absolutely. Him and Steph combined are a great team. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Real good team. Real good team. Um, now, who's a player that maybe inspired you or had an influence on you growing up? Uh, probably my sister, first off, because, I mean, she was just that person that, you know, she played on athletic scholarship in college. You know, she did this, she did that. You know, it's just living up to her standards and what she was. And, you know, me, me being the first guy child at the house you know I just had to try to live up the standards that she was at and you know and then um, later on in college just seeing my uh, cousin John Henson you know go to, the, go to the NBA and stuff like that just you know just motivation. Um, and do you have any tips for someone who's maybe starting to get involved in basketball? Oh um, I mean just keep God first I mean if that's what you really want to do you got to understand I tell kids back at uh, where I'm from I tell them all the time this is high school have fun with it I said but once you make up your mind you want to play at the next level it becomes a job so I mean have fun, you know, put God first, and you can do whatever you want to do. Um, and before you graduate, do you have one team um, in any conference that you wish Troy would play? Uh, I think we got it, Kentucky. I think, I th I think, that's, I think that's, that's a big one. I think that's good. All right. Well, I want to thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Stay tuned for what's coming up in Trojan Sports right after this.